Barry, 2 0 win here at Bowers and Pitsy. How does this feel for you? Yeah, it's sort of, it was a um, fairly routine victory, to be honest with you. Um, I thought we controlled most parts of the game. Um, they sat in and looked to sort of hit us on the counter, which, you know, they were fairly solid as well. So, um, yeah, it was just a sort of a typical end of the season game where Sun was out a little bit and a little bit lethargic at times, but um, managed to get a win and a clean sheet um, going into the Sussex Senior Cup, which um, is not a bad thing. End of the season now, how do you review your performance and the team's performance this year? Well, I think it's the highest league position we've had in 20 years, so um, you can't be too negative about it. Um, so, yeah, to finish eighth is, is nothing to be sniffed at. And, um, yeah, just, I just always would have wanted more. Um, you know, I, I look at the teams that are involved in the playoffs and I do think we was as good as them. And, uh, yeah, probably I beat myself up a little bit too much at times. But, um, yes, yeah, so I think all in all it's been a good season. And if someone said, you know, you'd be eighth at the end of this season, you, you know, most people would have taken it. But, obviously, I'm always looking for more. So, I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing either. Bringing in new players such as Alex Breffo and such, how do you think they've performed as working in our new system? Yeah, I think every, I think all sort of the players have contributed in at, at different times of the season, sort of around Christmas and just after Christmas, we, we had a fantastic defensive record. Probably towards the latter part of the season, we, we've conceded a little bit too many goals for my liking. So obviously, but you know, people like Kane Penn, uh, Jake Elliott, and. You know, there's numerous players which you know I review a little bit more when when the time's calm. So, but um, yeah, I think each player's contributed to the squad and um, and at different times of the season. If we did make playoffs and actually won it in the end, do you think that the boys are ready to go to the league above? Um, yeah, obviously, you, it's a hard one to sort of answer that. You know, you'd hope that you know a few would be ready to go to the league above, and obviously. Myself and Meany again would have to, to go again and the other the rest of the coach staff and you know, it's um yeah, it's always one of them things that <laughs> I'd rather sort of have that question in front of me when we've done it and then then review it. So it is it's a difficult one. Sussex Senior Cup semi final on Wednesday against yeah. um, Worthing who you previously managed. Yeah. Do you think you'll come into that game with enough confidence and enough to get you over the line now. Yeah, I hope to think we've got enough momentum and energy in the tank. Um, obviously, they've got a game as well 24 hours previously, which doesn't help their cause much. And, and they would, I suppose, have a quite a uh, mixed up squad, really, for, for both of those games. So we're not sure you know, what the opposition's going to be. Um, but whoever it is, we know that Worthing have got you know, strength and depth and uh, even their youngsters are coached very well. So I'm expecting a tough game. But I think we've been beat only three times in 17 games. So... We go in it with confidence and obviously we try and express ourselves on the night and um, be prepared for it. Bringing in loan players such as David Smith, would you ever be interested in, interested in signing him, someone like him on a permanent? Well, yeah, I, you know, I think Dave's a, Dave's a sort of a particular case where, you know, he's probably experienced a little bit of rejection, if you like, from Bromley and, and sort of come down to us and probably at the start wasn't, you know, flowing naturally if you like and um, you look at the latter part of the stages of the season he's he's really in a good rhythm at the moment and playing some good games and playing well so obviously you know it's there's a lot to be reviewed off the pitch you know the budget you know uh, what targets we're looking at doing uh, the ground itself training facilities and things like that so obviously within the next few weeks uh, hopefully I'll be sitting down with the um, with the chairman or owners or and, and board and, and making sort of um, plans on which direction we're going in and what we're looking to do next season. Keeping that in mind, are you and Meany staying here next season? Yeah, at the moment I'm, I'm entering into my second year of the contract, so at the moment I'm I'm um, I'm a Hastings man until I, until I say otherwise. And yeah, just hopefully that the hierarchy and things like that. There's a there's a clear vision of what we're going to go and do and how we're going to go about it. So that's that's all I'm asking for is clarity, and um, I'm sure they give that to me anyway because they're, they're they're an exceptional board, they've had an exceptional owner who's backed me, and um, you know I've, I've, I'll forever be grateful for that. With the uh, lack of funds, almost, what, how do you review your performance in that perspective as coming into a new league, um, finishing eighth? Yeah, I wouldn't say lack of funds. I think you know we were supported at times really well. Um, I, I suppose near enough, like I, we we probably. I wouldn't like to say, but we've probably got like a mid-table budget, if you like, and we've probably come sort of just slightly above that. Um, so I would, yeah, performance to budgets, I would suppose, is, is great. But at the end of the day, I've seen teams with lower budgets do really well um, 
and teams with higher budgets implode. So, um, yeah, I just think it's whatever's right at the time. And, you know, the, the chairman, uh, you know, there's, there's been times where I've had to ask for his support and he's supported me. So, um, yeah, you know, recruitment's on me and, um, you know, budget's down to him. Um, we work alongside one another to, to try and sort of, you know, gain neutral ground. Joe Gabode, his final league game with us. Yeah. His, his manager at Gillingham said that he would only loan him out to the National League Premier. Yeah. Is that disappointing news for you? No, it's not. Um, it's, it's, it's realism. It's, it's uh, the junior manager being realistic. Um, I thank Neil Harris for helping me have him in the first place and, and for trusting me in, in helping his development. I think we have developed him. Um, and you know, I'm sure he'll go on to bigger and better things and um, just loved having him around the place, really. Next season, wh where do you think we will... Where, where do you think we'll go as teams like Hashtag, who play here, yeah. are coming into the league? It's, yeah, it's going to be another tough season again and one where, as I say, we can't rest on our laurels. It only gets harder. And, um, but, as I say, I'm a winner and I'll, I want to do winning things and win leagues is, is all I'm thinking about. So... Uh, as I say, need to sit down, discuss budgets, and then, and then make a plan of attack from there. Thanks, mate. Top man. Cheers.